All right, hello guys. I just wanted to make a quick video. Uh, we went out and shot a short film this past weekend and we're gonna be dealing with a lot of underexposed shots and low light video footage. So I thought what I would do uh, that might help out some of you guys is show you kind of how we're handling uh, these, these noisy images. I know me personally in the past, that's been something that I've had trouble with. And I would like to uh, pass on what little bit of knowledge I have uh, to, to how to deal with this and get a, a better picture. So if you're looking at this right now, um, you can pretty much see, uh, you know, we were shooting outside in the dark. Yes, there was a light here. Um, there was also a street light, which you can see glaring in. And as I scrub forward in this, we get to a point where it's pretty dark. Um, you can't even really distinguish between uh, his jacket and her shirt. So one of the main things that I want to do is go to an area where we were somewhat lit here. And I am using Vegas Pro 15 for this. Now, this is not necessarily the editor of choice for most people or whatever. Um, obviously, Premiere Pro has a lot of similar features, maybe maybe some better features, some might say. But I felt that uh, this is, for me personally, an easier way to do this. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at the brightness and contrast. Now, obviously, when there's, when there's a lot of noise in here, the more you raise up the brightness, the, the, the uglier it's really going to get. So I'm just going to actually adjust the contrast so that we can get some nice distinguishing lines here. And having your subjects partially lit really helps out um, with this. So uh, shooting in complete darkness is almost unrecoverable if you have a bad camera. But um, we're going to push forward. So again coming to the part where they walk up to this gate and they're almost in complete darkness. Uh, now, again, you're, you're not really seeing the edges of his jacket, and but there is some distinguishable lines here between them and the fence. But that, that's just the first part. We just want to get that saturation part um, or the, the contrast part down first. And what I typically like to do in from there is come in and just do another really quick um, color curves and and pull this bar down and and really get after the dark areas the the blacks the shadows um, in this case the sky now compared to what we had before which looks like this and I'll, I'll make this bigger so you guys can see this um, this is kind of kind of where we're at so far. Now we're not going to be adding any LUTs or anything like that, um, but you can definitely see the amount of noise here is noticeably more visible than it is here where we've done our small corrections. Now the easiest way out of all of this is to, if you, if you have the plugins for neat video, this is kind of like the easy, automatic, all-in-one way to do it. And so far, it's it's time-saving, it looks nice, and I could de definitely recommend it if you've, if you've never used it. So what you're going to do here, um, it's going to start off with uh, you know, a, a preset thing like this. So you're going to hit Configure. This is after we drag it down to the timeline. You're going to hit Configure, and it's going to bring up a photo. And as you can see, I mean, this thing is super noisy. So what you want to do is drag a square around a relatively uniform area where all the noise is. And uh, once it's green, it's big enough to, to take a sample. So what it's actually sampling is these little dots and the purple and the noise and this and uh, we're gonna just go auto profile, click yes. Sometimes it'll tell you that it's too small, 
uh, we're even going to go to auto fine tune. And what this is going to do is it's kind of going to create its own type of profile for you here. And then we're going to move over to the noise filter settings tab. Now, as you can see, this already looks um, a million times better. And we'll go back. I'll, I'll turn the preview off. And you can just really in this area and in the sky and even in this so, you know, light beam or whatever, um, you can really tell a, a huge, huge difference. Uh, especially looking into parts of his jacket with, with the filter off, super grainy. The filter on. Now what it's doing is it's, it's creating almost like a, a small blur effect. And um, it's not really all that noticeable when you go back and watch, but it does really help to take out a lot of that noise. And trust me, that's better for you putting out your video than putting it out looking like this. So we're going to leave that preview on there and hit apply. So, so far, just to recap, uh, we've hit brightness and contrast, color curves, and neat video. And what that's done for us is made a, a nice clean image with, um, you know, there's still going to be some noise just based on your source material, but it looks a lot better. And uh, so when we get to the spots here that are super dark, um, you're not really seeing the amount of uh, crazy pixelation that we saw before. Um, the just the low noise the low end noise the 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 messy part and to be honest if i were preparing this clip for release i would probably actually section it off into two parts i would probably section uh the darkest parts so you know probably up to they actually come through the gate I would I would clip it here and then do a separate profile for when it's a little bit lighter but again we'll just show you here um, what the difference is so here's the original image and we did shoot this on a flat profile but here's the original image and you can you can see a lot of grain in uh, you know the especially the darker areas, the color of her shorts, the shadowing on her legs, and then once we apply this back, you can see it's it's really smoothed out and looks really nice. Now, again, this is not the best way. The best way is to do all this when you're shooting to make all of this uh, in your actual production. Make all these adjustments. Make sure everything's properly lit. Make sure you're. Um, you know, your shutters and your ISOs are, are set for for low light. But there are a lot of people out there who have cheaper cameras or that have um, cameras that don't have such great low light. And I'll just let I'll just tell you that this was shot with a mobile phone and it is decent. It, it has decent low light, but it's not great. So. The fact that we can pull a perfectly watchable image out of uh, a mobile phone shot almost nearly in complete darkness. Uh, we, we had one light here in the front, as you can see, um, that was off to this side. And uh, we had a street light out in front of us, which, you know, that was wasn't planned. It just happened to be there. And uh, but we were able to take some some mobile phone low light footage and make it look respectable. So the first thing that we did, brightness and contrast, color curves, and neat video. And basically, that's all you have to do to do some minor cleanups. Yes, there are a lot of other things that could be touched up, and there's a lot of other ways to make it look better and there are other editors and other programs that could uh, probably do a better job or make it look even cleaner or sharper but for simple quick basic and to get this done 
Um, this is absolutely the best way to go about it. So I hope that um, I hope that this video helps you guys out and helps you uh, make some better videos in the future. Again, um, neat video. Uh, I'll try to find the link and put it in the comment section to where you you guys can go purchase it. It is not a free plugin. However, the you know the color color curves and the brightness and contrast are all stuff that comes pre-installed on Vegas. Like, and keep in mind, this was shot on a cell phone. It was shot on the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. And, uh, yeah, just with a few quick touches, you can have good-looking video in, in no time. So don't forget to hit like and subscribe and, and click the little bell thing so that you get the notifications. I do plan on putting out a lot more videos to try to help out independent uh, filmmakers and low-budget filmmakers because I've been doing this now since... Uh, 2007 and I've learned a lot of little uh, tricks and tips that I feel could help people out so again thanks for checking it out be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys again soon